Hey everybody, and thanks for clicking on this video and checking out my channel. Merry Christmas to all of you out there. I've been away for a little while, and the biggest reason why I haven't really been posting too much on this channel is because of this right here. Yep, I got married. So as you can imagine, life has been pretty busy. Getting married, planning a wedding, moving to a new place. It's taken up a lot of my time, but I'm back now just in time for my favorite time of the year. Christmas. I love Christmas. I love the snow. I love the Christmas cookies. I love the feeling of the season around town. And of course, I love Christmas movies. There is no better feeling in the world than grabbing a nice hot cup of cocoa, snuggling up in a blanket, and watching a good old Christmas flick. So for this December, I thought for the next four weeks leading up to Christmas, I will talk about my favorite Christmas movies that I watch every year. They've been a staple of my household since I can even remember. So if you'd like to sit back and talk about some Christmas movies with me this December, ho ho hold your cup of hot cocoa, grab a warm blanket, and let's start talking about some Christmas movies. And today we're kicking it off with one of my favorites, Elf. So Elf was released in 2003, it was written by David Berenbaum, directed by Jon Favreau, and stars Will Ferrell as Buddy the Elf, a human raised at the North Pole brought up to believe that he is one of Santa's elves. But when Buddy learns his biological father lives in New York City and is on the naughty list, Buddy sets out on a trip to the Big Apple to meet his dad and spread some Christmas cheer for all to hear. Elf is probably the Christmas movie that I watched the most around my house when I was growing up and still to this day. My family loves Elf. We not only just quote it around the holiday season, we quote it year round. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. There were just so many great moments and quotable lines in this movie, and they will forever be ingrained into my memory. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. I like to whisper too. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my God! Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? The thing that I always say about Elf is that if you want to know what Will Ferrell is all about, watch Elf. Because Will Ferrell is known for playing those kind of childish characters that are grown men or like grown men with childlike attributes. But in Elf, Will Ferrell is dialed up to 11 and it totally works for the character of Buddy the Elf. Buddy the Elf is one of the most likable, positive characters I've ever witnessed in films. The overload of positivity, excitement, and joy that Will Ferrell brings to the role of Buddy the Elf is unmatched in any other performance that I can think about. My face would hurt so much if I had to smile for as long and as as much as Will Ferrell does as Buddy the Elf. I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. One of the reasons that Elf works as well as it does and is as enjoyable as it is is all due to Will Ferrell. Because Will Ferrell in this movie is perfection. He is perfect as this character. I love the opening scenes in the North Pole when we see him amongst the elves. And I love the way that Jon Favreau shot Will Ferrell with the other elves to make him look so much bigger than them. It's similar to a trick they use in Lord of the Rings with the Hobbits, but in Elf, I just see it so much more comedically than I do with Lord of the Rings. I just think it's really funny, especially when you start going through the montage of all the things he did, like when he was in high school and he was on the basketball team. There's some really good gags at the beginning of this movie, utilizing Will Ferrell's height and making some really great jokes out of it. And I've always loved the little detail when they add the uh, snowman from the Rudolph TV special in there as a cameo when he talks to Buddy the Elf. It's just such a little thing, but it's such a smart and brilliant idea. I always love seeing it in this movie. What I love most about Elf is that it's the perfect movie to get me in the Christmas spirit. Because essentially, that's what this movie is all about. Elf is very much a fish out of water story. Watching Elf arrive to New York and he doesn't understand basic human interactions, I just think is so funny. And the way that Will Ferrell plays it up to the extent that he does, I just think makes it even funnier. And he adds so much more comedy elements that is a... Pretty basic trope in movies, the fish out of water story, but the way that Will Ferrell plays it as Buddy, I just think makes it that much better. And opposite to Will Ferrell, you have James Can playing Walter, Buddy's biological father. And what I like the most about Elf is that it doesn't really drag you down with the drama between these two. In fact, the drama between Buddy and his biological father is actually very minimal, and I like that a lot about this movie. Buddy doesn't care that he never knew his dad or that his dad never went to find him. He's just excited to see his dad now and get to know his dad now. And I think that that not only brings just kind of like a more touching feeling to the movie, but also the way that James Cannon and Will Ferrell's dynamic plays with Walter thinking that this is just some crazy guy stalking him just adds more humor to the situation. And the way that Buddy acts with his father when he first sees him is just gut-bustingly funny. So I'm here now. I found you, Daddy. And guess what? I love you. I love you. I love you. 
But when Walter eventually does get Buddy tested and finds out that he is his biological father and we get that cameo by John Favreau as the doctor, I like how their dynamic changes after that because Walter has to now put up with Buddy. He can't avoid him anymore. And that just leads to so many great scenes. And I love the scene. My family references it all the time when Buddy is calling for his dad in bed. Dad? Dad? Dad. But the relationship between Buddy and his father isn't the only great relationship done in this movie. I also really like the relationship done between Buddy and Jovi, played by Zoe Deschanel. In a similar way that Buddy is out to seek his father and bring some Christmas spirit to him, I like that this movie is all about the relationship that Buddy is creating and how he is bringing the Christmas spirit into those people's lives. And the relationship between Buddy and Jovi I think is really sweet because you have this really cynical, kind of miserable personality with Jovi at the beginning of the film, and as Buddy's positively starts influencing and infecting and impacting her life you start to see that character change and get softer and I really like watching when they start to go on their first dates and how he's being so sweet to her and it's just it's a romance that doesn't bog the movie down I like that the movie doesn't lose focus of the fact that this is essentially about Buddy trying to find his father and bring some Christmas spirit into the, his family's life. I like that the movie never loses focus of that with the romance, but instead uses the romance to make that point even stronger. Through the relationships that Buddy creates and how he brings Christmas spirit into their lives, I also can't help but feel the Christmas spirit of this movie always just ooze out of the TV onto me. I feel like this movie just has such a Christmas magic to it that whenever I watch it, I'm just full on in the Christmas spirit. I've watched this movie in the summertime and I felt in the Christmas spirit. And that's essentially how I see the movie Elf and why I love it so much. What David Berenbaum, the writer, and John Favreau, the director, and Will Ferrell, the star, did with this movie is they captured Christmas spirit in a bottle shaped as a movie to the very point at the end when you have all those people singing along to Santa Claus is coming to town as they're trying to get the sleigh up and, and flying away for Santa. It's super cheesy, but there's something so heartwarming and touching about it that I just I almost well up when I watch this scene and it's ridiculous, but I love it. I just love this vibe. I love the spirit that this movie brings and I just I love Elf. What, what can I say? This is just me talking about a movie that I love and I absolutely love Elf. If you've never seen Elf around Christmas time, I can hardly think of a better movie to get you in the Christmas spirit. And Elf is a movie that I've watched for years, and I will continue watching for many more Christmases to come. Anyway guys, that is my first review for one of my favorite Christmas movies, Elf. But what do you guys think of Elf? I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below, and let's get a fun conversation going. And guys, join me again next week for my next Christmas movie review. I will be talking about the Christmas classic, well, they're right here, Home Alone. And until I see you guys next time, my name is Zachary Milne. Thank you for talking movies with me. Merry Christmas and have yourself a great day.